I have a, a prescription for chickens. They're my, my support and they're my therapy. And I, and I know from everybody who comes to my backyard that it's not only myself who feels this way. How did you come to have chickens in the city? I first um, started out renting chickens in the summer of 2020. That was, as you know, the first COVID summer. And I, uh, I felt really at a loss for things to do to bring me and my family joy. Um, I also was experiencing very severe uh, anxiety and some other mental health issues. And I, I heard about chickens and um, had seen them on other farms and always loved them. They always made me feel really just uh, happy. They, they put a smile on my face. And so I, I found this person who was willing to rent me chickens for that summer. I first asked my neighbors, of course, all, all around if they'd be okay with the idea. I knew that there was no bylaw in place, but I thought, it's COVID, it's summer, I'm just going to do this. And if anyone complains, I'll, I'll be able to give them back to the farm they came from. Everyone was happy to live with my chickens. My neighbors loved them. Um, and at the end of the summer, I just felt that we'd grown so attached and I was getting so much out of taking care of them and coming out here and looking at them just gave me a, a, a sense of, of ease and wellness. It's very relaxing to watch them go about their business. Um, they make lovely little charming noises. They, even the way some of them move their head, it's, you, I just can't stop but chuckle at it. And uh, I decided that I, I wasn't ready to, to give them up. Um, my mental health was actually getting worse. And I spoke to my, my GP about this. I asked if he'd write a letter for me to um, give me permission to keep chickens as emotional support animals. And he did even more and he wrote me an official prescription. <laughs> I figured that no one was complaining um, and things were fine. I'd continue flying under the radar, but with my doctor's prescription as backup. And uh, that went on until this past spring, 2023, so three years of having my chickens, still my neighbors love them. They love the noises, they love the eggs. Uh, however, after I was uh, doing some advocacy work to try and uh, convince Regina City Council to create a, a bylaw, I was in the news and I think I must have caught the attention of a, a very anti-chicken person, <laughs> someone perhaps thinking about their experience on the farm and having different impressions of what it means to keep chickens like this in a backyard. So someone anonymously reported me and um, bylaw officer came, uh, had never heard of a chicken prescription. Long story short, after a few months of deliberations with the legal department, the city has dropped the case and is uh, letting me keep my, my therapy or my emotional support chickens. And um, I'm so relieved. I don't need to, to live in, in fear uh, that they're going to be taken from me. And it also allows me now to be an even louder spokesperson for uh, getting other residents in Regina the option for those who want to keep backyard chickens like I do. I really don't think it's a big deal. You know, like I said, if they weren't classified as livestock, um, no one would have an issue with having six birds.